Dear friends, welcome back to Biology classes. So, in today's session, we are going to discuss the continuation of pregnancy and embryonic development. So, with respect to that, let us discuss today about an important structure. We call that to as the placenta. So, first of all, understand what do we mean by placenta so placenta let me tell you it's an organic connection between the fetus and the uterine wall of mother so let me repeat it's an organic connection between the fetus and the uterine wall of the mother so it is important it is essential for many physiological processes of fetus for the fetus to get the nutrition for the fetus to respire for the fetus to eliminate its excreta you know and so many other roles or the functions the placenta performs dear friends so which we will discuss further so before that let us understand few other important aspects about placenta dear friends let me tell you that one of the important hormone here we have the progesterone i have already spoken about the progesterone hormone during implantation so progesterone is referred to as implantation hormone why because for embedding the blastocyst to the endometrial lining we need progesterone in a similar manner dear friends progesterone is also important for development of placenta that is why it is also referred to as placental hormone so let me now tell you in other sense how can we define the placenta so we can say it is formed by intermixing of the chorionic villi the outer layer the outer extra embryonic membrane we call chorion so i have discussed about it so it has chorionic villi so when chorionic villi and en uterine endometrium when chorionic villi and uterine endometrium when they intermix there is formation of placenta dear friends dear friends let me tell you that the placenta is also referred to as structural and functional unit of developing fetus and maternal body remember this remember this this is very important point further let me tell you my dear friends that the embryo or the developing fetus is attached to the placenta but through what that we need to understand it is attached to the placenta through a tube like structure we call that to as the umbilical cord remember dear friends that umbilical cord is generally formed after the modification of yolk sac and allantois but most importantly the yolk sac so these are few essential points we need to remember before moving on to discuss the role or the functions of placenta dear friends let me tell you first and foremost important function of the placenta is that it helps in the transportation of nutrients and also oxygen from the maternal blood from the maternal blood from the mother to the fetus or the fetal blood from the maternal blood to the fetal blood or from the rather in simple sense you can say from the mother to the baby so both nutrients as well as the oxygen transportation will occur through placenta first and the foremost important function or the role of placenta dear friends secondly it is also important for the elimination the removal of nitrogenous waste like for example the urea or 
even in little quantities we have uric acid secreted in the body to go with even carbon dioxide if it has to be removed and further has to be transported to the maternal blood from there it has to be eliminated we need placenta dear friends the fetal blood the elimination of urea uric acid which are highly toxic nitrogenous waste it can be eliminated it can be excreted or it can be removed only with the help of placenta dear friends this is the most important uh, you know aspect you need to remember then further moving ahead let us also discuss the other functions of placenta so remember that placenta is semi permeable membrane so it allows certain important uh, nutrients as well as oxygen and few more other you know minerals inside it let me tell you that it is important for prevention of harmful chemicals which may enter from the mother to the fetus so remember dear friend that's what when i say semi permeable membrane you please understand that it allows only the required nutrients and required essentialities will be considered not the other ones so like for example harmful chemicals will be kept aside it will not be allowed inside the fetus so that can be possible because placenta acts like a semi permeable membrane dear friends let me also tell you placenta is also important because it helps in the transportation of antibodies the proteins the protective proteins the proteins which provide the immunity to the baby so these antibodies from the mother's blood will be transported to the fetal blood for example the antibodies which give resistance against diseases like for example we have smallpox we have diphtheria we have tuberculosis these antibodies are present in the maternal blood the mother's blood it is present dear friends so that will be transported through the placenta to the fetal blood in fact it helps in protection of the fetus against all these diseases dear friends let me also tell you that placenta is important because it also acts like a liver before the liver is formed you know it some important uh, you know functions it has to perform so it itself functions like liver that is it helps in the storage of glycogen the placenta itself stores glycogen dear friends secondly it also stores fats to go with that it also stores iron so remember and many other in fact nutrients are stored as we can find in the liver that's why i am telling you that it acts like a liver before its formation in the fetus dear friends you know when we talk about its role let me tell you there are few what i can say dangerous uh, you know or the problematic aspects which can occur to the developing fetus that means certain drugs you know which can be intaken by the mothers especially during pregnancy can definitely pass through the placenta and affect the developing embryo or the developing fetus dear friends so for example if mother has taken some sedative or some antipyretic or a painkiller that's what we call antipyretic or painkiller or antibiotic which is used to kill certain in fact uh, bacteria in the body infections to cure infections we use when these are taken in concentrated amounts so it can affect the developing fetus because it can pass through placenta dear friends remember that and further even dear friends bacteria virus can also pass from the mother's blood to the fetus so remember placenta acts as a endocrine tissue because it helps in production of many important hormones dear friends the, the placenta helps in the production of human chorionic gonadotrophin so which is important for 
stimulating the corpus luteum of the ovary to secrete progesterone hormone one function secondly it is also important for secretion or the production of human chorionic somatomammotrophin or you can also say that to as hpl in other sense you can also represent that as hpl human placental lactogen so this is important for you know the milk secretion by breast so further the placenta also secretes one more important hormone we call that to as relaxin so this relaxin helps in dilation of uterus why dilation of uterus is needed because when the uterus becomes dilated when it becomes you know much thinner it is important for parturition to occur so parturition we are going to discuss further so parturition refers here to delivery of the baby so for that to occur relaxin hormone is essential which is secreted from the placenta dear friends let me tell you relaxin can also be secreted from ovaries as well so these are few important aspects dear friends you remember with respect to the placenta and its uh, role or functions please do follow up with bio z classes like subscribe and share do give your valuable comments in the comment section below thank you very much